A crossing guard on the ground Thursday after a driver hit them during the morning rush of school drop off. Now four days later, several school zone signs line the roads near South 6th Street and Harrison Avenue. The mornings are busy outside of St. Augustine Prep Academy. Angela Hurtado knows it can be a risky task to walk her younger siblings to school. It's really scary to bring them, especially walking, because you because some people don't slow down and you just get scared. 12 News learned the city requires school zones to have signage that was nowhere in sight last week. The Department of Public Works says they've installed those signs in the past, but were missing when the crossing guard was hit. Crews spent Monday morning replacing them. While residents and families near St. Augustine Prep are happy to have the signs back, they aren't so sure it will change driving behavior. Do you think that putting these signs up will actually help people slow down? Well, I mean, yeah, because there, there are there is people that pay attention to the signs, but at the same time, there's reckless people. You just have to be safe on both ends. What do you think that they can do to get people slow down in this area? Speed bumps. In Milwaukee, Courtney Sisk. WISN 12 News. Police say the 58-year-old crossing guard was transported to a hospital for injuries last week. Police say the driver is cooperating with the investigation.